We look good. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to Haunted Log Studios' production of The Mausoleum of Three Fears, a free one-shot module written by Brody of Role Players Respite. I am your haunt guide for this evening, Shannon, and tonight I'm joined by... Nikki, playing Merida, the half-orc fighter. Not much of a background, it's mysterious. I'm, I'm playing Dump Truck. He's a fourth level Goliath fighter. Not very good. We'll see what he does. <laughs> this is Jason. I'm playing Derek Glavehammer, the, the fighter battlemaster dwarf. Eric, I'm playing Noball, the Heron Gone. Hexblade Warlock. Did you say no ball? No ball. Snowball or no ball? Snowball. No. (laughs) No ball. Yeah, the S didn't come across. (laughs) The S did not come across. (laughs) Every time. (laughs) And I'm Allison. (laughs) I am playing Zenny. I'm a halfling and ranger. Half and half. I'm very good at at this. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. (laughs) We will just jump right in. Yes. Yeah. (laughs) So, excuse me. We start our adventure in a rickety old cart driven by an elderly man dressed in a black leather cloak that covers his face. The cloak appears to be far too large for this spindly man, and he has an air of mystery around him. You are on your way to Eve. You each received a wax-sealed note promising payment if you could help with a problem plaguing the town around their festival time. The note was simply signed, Mayor. The road to Eve is long, and it's only made longer with the elderly, silent cart driver. The party is more than welcome to converse, but attempting to speak to the cart driver heralds nothing. After a few days of travel with minimal stops, your driver pulls along a tall, thick bramble wall with a single entrance. Affixed to a post outside the thicket, portcullis is a sign that simply reads, Eve. As the evening draws on, the air becomes thick and chilled. Your driver pulls the cart to a stop and silently motions with a bony hand for you to disembark. As you exit, you startle a murder of crows from the thicket wall. Strange, that cart driver. I don't know what I did there. (laughs) Strange that the cart driver didn't startle the crows. So... As you enter, the path becomes surrounded on all sides. No light penetrates the forest canopy. As you stumble through the bramble, you realize it's eerily quiet, save for the leaves and branches below your feet. After about 15 minutes of walking, ahead of you, you see a faint light as the path through the thicket wall almost seems to dissipate. Emerging from the thicket, there's a noticeable increase in temperature as the cool, early evening air gives way to a warm autumn breeze. Above, the moon shines down in the clearing. It seems impossibly large and gives off an unusual orange glow. Ahead of you, you see a ramshackle town. You catch a faint, sweet scent drifting on the air and the sound of laughter and music begins to echo from the town, replacing the eerie quiet. Quick break. Am I coming through for everyone okay? Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. We had some issues on our producer, Scott, <laughs> saying we're huh? having some issues with audio on Twitch. So I'm going to turn good. myself up a bit. No, he he was having double volume. It's like uh, oh, double okay. like, stream and this one. Oh, together, so. okay. Well, let's continue. Uh, <laughs> Awesome. Thank you, Scott. All right. As you enter the edge of the town, the sights, sounds, and smells of celebration grow more and more intense. Moving between rundown and dilapidated homes and businesses, you eventually find yourself in the town square. In the square center is a massive dead willow tree. 
Everywhere you look, you see all kinds of monsters and creatures, ancient crones cackling over mugs of cider, spirits floating among the trees' branches, ogres and goblins playfully arguing over games and many other strange sights. As you absorb these sights, a high-pitched, masculine voice catches your attention. Oh, hi! Welcome, guest! Welcome to Eve and our festival of the night! A skeleton approaches you with a hand outstretched in a wave. He's dressed in a tattered and torn suit with a top hat that threatens to topple off his skull. It's hard to tell, but you get the sense that he's smiling at you. My name is Jacques Rattlebowls, and I'm the one who hired you. Rattle what? <laughs> Bowls. B-O-W-L-E-S. Okay, that was different than what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> the ale. What are we hired for again? I think we need to go get some ale, Derek. Ale. Where's the ale? So, and then do some gambling. <laughs> He's he ha- he offers his hand to Merida, and he says, "Well, hello, Miss." Every year we have this wonderful festival where all these creatures can come and and partake in games and not have to worry about protecting lairs and protecting dungeons. However, every year there's, there's just something hanging over the festival, some twinge of evil. And we need someone to investigate that and perhaps take care of it. I grab that bony hand and I shake it. Well, I am ready to protect you. Good, good. I knew I hired some strong help. And he looks around at the rest of the group and says, Are you in? Is there money involved? Yes. What? If you Can I get some money? Munch money. Munch money. <laughs> Munch. Munch. <laughs> There's, there's lots of money in it for each and every one of you. And, and he looks at Snowball the bunny and he says, We definitely have ale and I encourage everyone to partake in the games and festivities before you head off if you'd like. Hey guys, did everybody mute there? themselves in roll 20? How do you mute? Go to your picture and uh, go to mute. I don't think I even allowed it. Oh, well, I, yeah. It's on there. Jason yeah, I can hear the echo. Uh, muted. Jason's not muted, and I can't tell about Shannon. Uh, I don't know how. I don't think Shannon's muted. It's not letting, it's not giving me anything that I can mute myself. Uh, there's none. I can hear or see none. <clears throat> okay. You got me now? Can, am I doubling up now? No. Okay. What about me? No, you sound fine now. There's a cog in the upper right hand menu. Your yeah. Settings, and if you go to audio and visual, you can go to others yeah. can hear or see none, and I can hear or see none. Yeah, that's that, that's where I've been at. Cool. Okay, because it sounded fine to me. <clears throat> okay. So uh, he tell the mayor. <clears throat> Excuse me. The mayor tells Snowball, over there, you see those hags that are they're laughing and drinking? They have some spiked ale, apple cider, anything you could possibly want. It's on the house. Which house? That? Did you hear that, Derek? It's on the house. Free. Which house? Alcohol. Let's go. Even the hags. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> You're coming, dump truck. Why, 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 love why, why, that name, dump truck. No. <laughs> You're not gonna come drink with us, dump truck. I don't. I don't drink anymore after uh, last season's uh, debauchery. I, I don't do it anymore. Woke up with a with a with a goblin, did you? <laughs> It was worse than that, buddy. Oh, my God. I think she was a half lich. Oh, my God. What a lich. <laughs> oh, what a lich. <laughs> Son of a lich. That's what I said. Not again. I ain't ending up in a bed with a lich and trying to gnaw my arm off. You don't know what it's like doing the walk of shame out of a cemetery. <laughs> 
Oh, that's half your problem right there. <laughs> I've been walking with pride. Yeah, I, I got that lich right where I wanted her and had my way with her, and then she killed. She tried to kill me. It was great. She was trying to choke right, me out as we were going. <laughs> Do they have any drinking games? I'll, li I'll live vicariously through you. So, right. but you guys can get whatever you want, um, and when it pertains to drinks and snacks. All around you, dozens of different kinds of creatures eat, drink, dance, sing, and laugh. The smells of sweet, freshly baked pastries and beverages waft in the air. There are games. So you have dagger dodging, spectator drop, gag reflex, tome of eldritch fun, cosmic soup. Speaking of gag reflex, did uh, your lich have that, Nick? And force of wills. <laughs> Sorry, dump truck? I don't have it anymore. I lost mine that same time. What was the first one? It was very Sorry. bony. Dagger dodging. I would like to do the dagger dodging, please. All right. I'm going up there and I stand in line. Is there a line? I think I'm going to go with the gag reflex. There's not a line. <laughs> so Merida walks up to dagger dodging. There's a horned man with goat legs who leans on a table in front of a large target board. Three daggers stand jabbed into the table surface and a white cloth rests near them. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? Now we come what the to this. Hell is she doing? <laughs> we come to this festival to be respected and have fun. That was a little against the, uh, you know, over oh, the line. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I thought that's how you talked. <laughs> he says, my name is Jaro. I'm a satyr and I speak common. Whiskey Hello, in the Jaro. Hello, Jaro. My name is Merida. And I hand my hand out to his hoof to shake. He has a hand. He has hooves for oh. feet. <laughs> wow, you are very anti-animal. I was you're, born you're in the country. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I like you. He uh, kind of gives a half-cocked smile and he says, I would be glad to have you at this game. How do we play it? Well... He holds up the white cloth I take a and he says, and you run. I'm going to put this blindfold on and you're going to stand in front of the target and I'm going to throw daggers at you. And if you miss Can my Snow throws, hear? you get a prize. Can Snowball hear this going on? Yeah. If you went up with her, you, no, yeah. I'm, I'm going, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do it. Your okay. armor will be fine. You might not be, but your armor will be good. <laughs> Um, what kind of armor do I have? Cane mail? Uh, not good armor. <laughs> Is there any helmet on that? Nope. <laughs> it's just a body. <laughs> Can I watch somebody else first? Does anyone else wish to participate? I'm not dumb enough to do that. I said I wanted to do gag reflex, but we had to come over here and do the goddamn throwing <laughs> knives. He says, oh, yeah, that reflex doesn't no, sound no, 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 good no. either. None of these games sound promising or in any way, shape, or form advisable. He looks at Merida my ale. and he says, Go for Spencer Mass because my face is my moneymaker. He says, I can't see, and you're more than welcome to move after I throw the dagger. All you have to do is avoid the dagger. What prizes yeah, are It doesn't sound horrible at all. Which one is acrobatics under? <laughs> Dexterity. It's oh, not. Wait, a no, it's acrobatics. Not acrobatics. What is it? Oh, I can I not know that? You'll be making dex saving throws. So, do you think you're dexterous enough to avoid three daggers? No. Mm, I think I'm going to slide out, Mister Goatman. Oh, God. All right, I'll jump in. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. You are more than welcome to walk away from any game you don't want to do, and we can move over to Gag Reflex if you'd like. 
I was just too gag reflex. man and I walk away. Thank you very much, Let's sir. Let's do gag reflex. So Jaro the satyr kind of bows over at his waist. It was a pleasure to speak to you, madame. Next time, maybe know where hey. you're going. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> so, Animalist. Is everybody following Snowball to Gag Reflex? Oh! Refill. <laughs> yes, I gotta see this. Train wreck. <laughs> I got a constitution of steel. Play okay. train wreck. So, a cage with tattered... You guys will be calling me Noble after this. <laughs> Thought that's what your name was anyway. Lowball. <laughs> All People right. call me uh, One Nut. You probably have a good sense of smell, Snowball. So, a cage <laughs> with a tattered white cloth with... Truck all the way over here. A cage with a tattered white cloth with green stains stands open with a large, portly giant leaning against a nearby wall. As you approach, you smell the sickly sweet smell of rot. Is this home? <laughs> you see a hill giant, and he kind of stands up straight, and he says, Smells like my home, too. Like to play? Sure. Let's do this. He opens the cage and he gestures. Please enter. All right. So the bottom of the cage is open into a garbage pit filled with rotting meat and vegetation. So once you're inside, he shuts the gate and he takes this disgusting cloth and throws it over the top of the cage. And you have to be in there for one minute. Give me a constitution saving throw. Uh oh. Come on, lucky dice. Got my lucky dice. Come on, lucky dice. Thirteen. You're in there for a minute and you think you've got this. But your eyes start to water, and you start coughing and dry heaving, and you can't you can't make it. You need to get out, or you're gonna puke into the garbage pit. Are we using the roll twenty, or are we using our own? Whatever you want. I don't really care. <laughs> My roll twenty is jacked. Okay. That all you got? Oh no, no! You're you're sick. You don't make it. <laughs> so he throws the cage open and says, "Why you puke in my garbage pit?" And he slaps his knee and starts why laughing. Do you, why do you care? It that's gotta add to the smell and make it smell better. <laughs> you are going to be coughing and retching for one minute. <laughs> better luck next time. And he laughs. I don't want to cough and retch because I'll probably make somebody puke as I'm doing it. So <laughs> we'll just imagine that I'm puking and retching. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Wait, can we see this? Oh, if you followed him into the game, you can see it. I did. Um, you suck. <laughs> I am going to try this. Oh, you <laughs> suck. I couldn't handle the guy throwing a knife retching. at me, but. <laughs> <laughs> so he opens the cage for Merida and says, after you, my lady. And he kind of winks. Thank you. Wait, what? what's his, um, what kind of dude is he? He's a hill He's giant. He's a smelly hill giant. giant. Okay, sir. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so you go in, he shuts the door of the cage, and he puts his disgusting cloth over the top. I need a constitution saving throw, please. Twenty-three. Wow. Yeah, I rolled a twenty-three. <laughs> <laughs> so your eyes water a bit, but 
this smells not as bad as the bunny seems to think it is. You don't know what's going on with Snowball, but before too long, he throws the clock off the cage and he shouts, We have a winner! He grabs a card. <laughs> he grabs a card from behind the cage and he hands it to you. It's his phone number for later tonight. I grab the card and I look at it. What does it say? As soon as you grab it, it vanishes. You're off, you and me. But as soon what as the it, hell is this? As soon as it vanishes, you know once within the next twenty four hours, you may make a constitution saving throw or ability check at advantage. And the way this prize is going to work is after you roll a constitution or whatever saving throw you get, at that point, you can choose to re-roll. That's how I'm going to go with it and take the higher number. So, um, one constitution saving roll or... Or ability check. Ability check. Yep. And I get to take the better of the two. Correct. Yep. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Okay. So what were the other games? There was something Wits and something's Eldritch Horror. We have Spectator Drop. With the Marlin. Soggy Ooh. Biscuit. We've seen Dagger Dodging. We've seen uh, Gag Reflex. There's also Spectator Drop, Tome of Eldritch Fun. Cosmic Soup <laughs> and Force of Wills. I'm doing Spectator Drop. All right. I do Spectator Drop. I do it all the time. Drop. I need a refill <laughs> again. Oh, sorry, you're Goliath. I gotta be like, yeah, you drop it, big boy. Has Durek been spectating any of this, or is he just sitting at the yeah, bar drinking? drinking. Exactly. I just, I just been, I I've been watching, but then as soon as my tankard is empty, I go and I say, I need a refill. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta start over because I just puked up everything I drank. <laughs> You're three behind now. So a dump truck, yeah, just like junior high. <laughs> dump truck leads the group up to spectator drop. A sizable green creature without arms or legs sits atop a tall diving board of sorts above a target painted on the ground. Its one large eye and four eye stalks track bypassers while the creature heckles them in a joking manner. So as you walk up, he's like, Ha ha, look at this big fucker! <laughs> Sorry, all I have is like, Stuff up upstairs, like, oh, well, I'm glad you can see me with those four eyes, or are you just blind four eyes? <laughs> if he had a knee to slap, tell him, big man. You he tell would him, be big slapping man. it. He's like, ah, oh, you're a funny guy. Do you want to play my game? Slapping what? Yeah, exactly. Slapping it. <laughs> yes, I will play your game, four eyes. <laughs> All right, so he is 20 feet in the air. And he says, step onto the target, please. Oh, I step on target? Yeah, it's going to be fun. The All game right. is, the board below me will drop and you must catch me. If you do not catch me, you lose. All right, let's do this. It sounds great. <laughs> All right, so as soon as you say you're ready, the board clunk <laughs> drops below this creature. I need a, let's do a strength roll. Oh, boy. Okay. Yep, it's strength. <laughs> I love it when he laughs. Do we have an Albus in our mist? <laughs> oh, I am the new Shannon. I got a one, so I got a oh, four. No! <laughs> yes! Oh, no! Oh, yes. no! So you I'll are drink to that. Underneath <laughs> oh, this humongous I need creature, a refill. you're under this humongous creature, kind of bending your knees, bracing yourselves, and you're watching him come closer and closer, and he just freaking smashes the shit out of you. Take four bludgeoning damage. 
Damn, he's only got 12 hit points. Fuck. <laughs> he says... I need more. That's okay, I'm, a, I'm immune to bludgeoning. Are you? Oh, yeah, I'm immune to all four times, all types of damage. That's why he has no hit points. Okay, so yep. I guess he... He kind of gets that off you sense. and starts laughing. He says, did that hurt you, monstro? Feels good. You might want to get that stock out of my ass, though. <laughs> my voice changed because I got something stuck in there. <laughs> I left my number for you up there. And he flies off back to his board. How am I going to get it? Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you. Come again. <laughs> I think you will. And again. And again. So we and have again. one out of three. Does anyone else want to play a game? What are the other? So the other games are Cosmic, Cosmic Fun. Cosmic Fun. And then something Eldridge. And then Wits. We got the dagger dodging. No one did. Any of these games can be played multiple times. But we got dagger dodging, spectator drop. Gag Reflex, Tome of Eldritch Fun, Cosmic I'm gonna Soup, do that one. and Force of Wills. I would try Cosmic Soup. Okay. I want to do the Eldritch one okay. when she's done. Let's let Popery for 100, please, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go with Cosmic Soup. So as you walk up, there's a single-eyed, lanky creature stands next to a cauldron filled to the brim with a bubbling brew. The thick liquid is black with shades of deep blues and purples with scattered dots of white that seem to flicker in and out. This is a Nothic. He looks at Zenny and he says, Please, gaze into the cauldron's content. You will see. You will be staring into a realm of unimaginable and horrific entities. But if you win, you get a prize. How long do I have to stare into this thing? All right. I need a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> All right. So you roll a d20 and then add whatever your wisdom modifier is. You don't see wisdom. Uh... Wait, okay, got it. Passive wisdom. Okay. No, just wisdom. It's up on the top. Just wisdom. And then it's got a, like a plus number underneath wisdom. Or, oh, so you... plus, a minus, or a zero. Yep. It has a zero. It has plus zero, but it has 11 underneath there. Is yeah, it? so basically. So you don't have a modifier. Roll your d20. So you just roll a d20. And whatever you roll yeah. is your number. Five. <laughs> yeah. <you lose. laughs> All right. So Zenny looks. This, this, there's no way this could go wrong, right? Zenny looks into this cauldron, and the second she really looks into it, she falls back on her back, unconscious. You take five points of psychic damage, and you're unconscious for ten minutes. Oh, great. We can't proceed until she wakes the fuck up. Unless someone can carry her. Time no. to go get another ale. <laughs> we can drag Is her. Is this the Tomb of Horrors? She's very hey, small. You're not just going to drag me over to do the dagger dodge, right? No, I already did the dagger dodge unless somebody else No, you no, walked you away from the no, dagger you chicken dodge. Now. You chickened out. Oh, that's true. <laughs> you can do a spectator drop. Let's put her in the front of the dagger dodge. <laughs> Hold her up there. Are you gonna That's drag her in Eldritch front of the dagger dodge and just set her there? No. No, I mean I thought about it. I thought about it. The Nothic looks at you and says, She'll be fine here. I'll make sure nothing happens to her. Okay. <laughs> so That don't sound right. <laughs> no. Snowball wanted to do the tome of Eldridge fun. Yeah. A cocky-looking woman that's, with a sly smile and large, blood-red wings stands near a dark pedestal, where a purple glowing book rests closed atop. She asks carnival-goers if they wish to learn the secrets of the multiverse as they pass by. How about sure. you, Furball? And I say Furball with the utmost sense of admiration. 
Are you a true warlock? I am an Araness. My name is Tisa. Hey, Don't do it. I saw the movie. It's boring. <laughs> All right. What do I got to do, Tisa? Just look into the tome of Eldritch Fun. I go walking up all cocky. Intelligence Jesus, saving no, throw, please. Uh oh. Fifteen? Ooh. You go up and everything starts to kind of knit together in in a script you can read. So, you read a recipe for cosmic soup, a type of liquid that some creatures from beyond the stars consider a delicacy. The Aranus declares you a winner and taps your forehead six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Once within the next 24 hours, you may make an intelligence saving throw or ability check at advantage. Nice. Feel jipped off. <laughs> Can I do another game? Uh, you, uh, yes, if you'd like. I need another ale. <laughs> another games again? I'm going to go get an ale with uh, Derek now. Let's, I'm done. Let's, is, is I'm there gonna quit while I'm ahead. An intelligence game. Intelligence would be the one, the Tome of Eldritch Fun. The one that Snowball just played. She looks at you and she says, Miss Hapork, would you also like to? Look into the multiverse? I would love that. Please and thank you. Intelligence saving throw. She's so nice. Ouch. We're rolling awesome tonight. Seven. <laughs> You walk up to the book, and it looks like somebody took a marker and scribbled in there. Nothing makes sense. And you take two psychic damage, and you're frozen there for one minute. You can't move. E <laughs> uh, am I awake yet? that only the warlock can go in there. I'd say with Snowball and Merida both playing this game after the walk, Zenny can probably move now. Okay. I will do the, the dagger thing. I'm sitting dagger right reports? there and I'm like, yeah, I'll do the dagger thing. Oh. You know, because I've been knocked out of the this... half alert. <laughs> All right, I need some popcorn to go with my <laughs> ale now. <laughs> the satyr kind of claps. And he says, you're the first non-monster. I think he had a deeper voice. You're the first non-monster who wants to do this. I'm so excited. <laughs> Please, Darryl. walk up to the board. There's no way this could go wrong. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to go wrong. It always does. <laughs> so he ties the blindfold around his eyes and picks up the three daggers. And he says, are you ready? Throw my voice off to the side. Yeah. <laughs> I need a, where are we? A dex saving throw. Okay, dexterity? Okay. Yeah. D20 plus if you have a plus or a minus. I have a plus of three on that. So uh, I got a 16. Okay. Nice. So he kind of readies up and he chucks that first dagger and you have absolutely no problems. Just kind of hop into the side. Here comes the next one. Give me another deck saving throw. I'm a little hurt that I have three rolls and those guys get away with one. I'm just going to, I'm going to say that up front. <laughs> well, there's three daggers. <laughs> Blow them out of the water. No uh, seven is getting drunk. Oh, okay. So you, you may hit. have been mid flip, mid jump during the last dagger. This dagger <laughs> actually hits you, <laughs> dealing you four piercing damage. Okay. <laughs> we don't even have to fight a battle, and we're losing hit points. <laughs> so that's 
then there's a third roll, and what do I do with the third? So he You're hears you, he hears no you kind of cry out, and he says, I don't like hurting people, but one for me, one for you. Here comes the last one. Make one more deck saving throw. 23. Oh. Nice. You are ready for this one. He hears it chunk right into the wood behind you, rips off the blindfold, and says, We have a winner! Oh, ball starts walking over there. <laughs> Drunk now, because he's little. I want to try a... Oh, okay, well... Why are there three? Why are there... You didn't even get to say what I want you're already barging in here, and then I had to do, like, why, three rolls, why are you and you're, like, Why are there three of one? you? Oh, sorry. <laughs> we'll sorry. get to you in a minute, Snowball, because if you're drunk, I'm going to play with that. <laughs> so, All right, cool. The satyr waves his hand over Zenny's head. Tiny green and gold lights trail behind his fingers. Once within the next 24 hours, you may make a dex saving throw or ability check at advantage. Meaning, uh, if you roll and don't like it, you can roll again and take the higher number. I'll go well, because I always roll better the second time. <laughs> right? <laughs> the satyr looks at this drunk little bunny. Are you, are you sure? I am not responsible for any blood loss during this game. I, I'm squinting, trying to make there only one of him. <laughs> sure, why not? He invites you to approach the scoreboard. How many thimbles have you had, Snowball? I had. You said I was three... Behind, so yeah, I did like six. You're now three behind. No, I've already had another seven. I'm looking like I'm gonna fall over. <laughs> oh, yes, okay, let's do this. He shrugs and puts the blindfold on. I need you to roll a deck saving throw at disadvantage. <laughs> that means I have to take the lower one, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Sixteen. So he throws a dagger, and you look like you initially tried to jump out of the way, but you just fall down, and the dagger flies over your head and thunk right into the wood behind you. <laughs> oh, you got. <laughs> I'm going to need you to stand up. I know you fell. <laughs> All right, I'm up. I'm up. He throws the I'm next good. one. How are you? Give me a deck saving throw at disadvantage. Sixteen. Once again, you somehow manage to stumble out of the way of the dagger he throws. And he's like, Damn, little guy! Well, here comes the last one. I'm gonna get ya. One more dex, disadvantage. Whoa, okay. Ugh. Fifteen. So as you're standing there, you can't even see the dagger coming at you. You're so drunk. But somehow he manages to throw it right between your ears. And he rips off his blindfold and he's like, I can't believe it. That is amazing. Come here. That's right. <sighs> Did you have a previous yep. boon? Yep. Okay, so as he waves his hand over your head, you get the ability to make a deck saving throw or ability check at advantage, and your previous boon is gone. Good, because I have a better deck score than I have in intelligence. <laughs> and would anyone hey, else snowball. like to? I got a, yeah. I got another. I got a, I got I got another tankard for you. I, I go over to the nearest tree and I throw up. I'll be there in a minute. Puke and rally. Hey, okay, there was one game left, right? We have not done the force of wills. Oh, that Just sounds like a good one for you, Zenny. It sounds like a good one for you because you know it all. Does anyone not have a boon? I don't. Besides the 
dwarf that's been sitting at the bar the whole time? <laughs> I don't think he wants a boon. He just cares just about the eating ale. and drinking. Eating and drinking. No, there's no eating involved. They're just drinking. I'll just, you know what? I'll walk over to Force of Wills. Why not? This will this will go great. So as you walk up, a leaf, a lith uh, man with wings and a thin pointed tail stands near the table. Atop the table is a crystal ball with swirling blue smoke inside. He's blue. very smooth, and he <laughs> kind of leans down to Zenny and says, Hello, miss. Would you care to play our game? That's What's the game? Sweet. Just what to... Is, what are you playing? How's the, how's the, how do you play? You just have to look into my crystal ball. And he smiles. <laughs> oh, God. Look, I'm, oh, I'm still a little this. out of it from getting knocked on my ass with the last one, so I'll go, sure, why not? <laughs> so, as you stare into the crystal ball, you begin to feel a presence overtake you. Give me a charisma saving throw. Fifteen. Fifteen? You feel the presence start to recede, and this incubus declares you a winner. He grabs a glowing stone and waves it in front of your eyes. Once within the next 24 hours, you may make a charisma saving throw or ability check at advantage. And he bows to you. It's been a pleasure, my lady. Thank you. Thank you. You're kind of charming. <laughs> and then I realize I need to get out of there because he's a little too smooth. <laughs> and you always, you always have to watch out for the guys who just, they're a little too smooth. They've done this a few too many times. And yeah. If I you, walk up. Do you, you go both ways? not good. <laughs> And then I fall back. All right. The mayor approaches the group. <clears throat> and he says, are we having fun at the, at the festival? Yes, but maybe we should get moving forward a little bit. We do oh, have all wow, night. She's impatient. Well, once you're done with the business at hand, you're more than welcome to enjoy more of the festival and everything on the house. I don't know why everything's on the house. Because I've asked you here for your help. You were doing me a favor. Is this being taken out of our paychecks? No. No, absolutely <laughs> not. Nothing is taken out of your paychecks. You will be paid, and you can enjoy all the libations and games on me. We do this once a year. You are really the only non... Hmm, how should I say this? I'll just say it. Monster entities that have been here in a long time. So, are, are so, we ready to go? I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'll fill you in on the way. I, I know you have questions. I know this is a little unorthodox, but let me give you some more information. Yes, please. So, he leads you through the rundown town, away from the square and the <laughs> festival... And as you walk, he gets down to business. He says, each year, darkness threatens the celebration and our guest. I did have a coven of hags place protections to keep the threat at bay, but over the years, the wards have started to weaken. So you realize you've arrived at a massive wrought iron fence and gate with a large bat, a bat-shaped headlock at its center and the word cemetery running along the top of its frame. A thick fog blankets the ground and the air feels noticeably colder than in the town square as a chill breeze blows up the path towards you. He continues with a story. The nature of the threat changes each year, but it always starts in the old cemetery and seems to radiate out from the mausoleum at the far end of the yard beyond that gate. He points and you can see this mausoleum at the end of the path atop a small hill, the moon placed just above it. He opens the lock in the iron gate. It opens with a loud, low creak. Good luck! I have the utmost faith in you, he says as he closes the gate and locks it behind you. Your Why did you have to lock the gate? 
We have to keep the evil inside. Cool. Cool. Does anyone want to roll an insight on the mayor? Sure, I will. That's not going to work. <laughs> Is that a D20 plus the insight point yep. thing? That's a five. I, I'll ro roll an insight as well. A 14. Zenny can tell. Got an... Go ahead. 19. Oh. Zenny is sure. She's she's pretty confident. However, Merida is absolutely sure that the mayor's telling the truth. He's a little odd, you know, he's a freaking skeleton in a in a worn out suit, so he's weird. But he's not trying to trick you. Um things are just strange, you know. Snowball has no fucking idea. <laughs> As usual. Right now, I'm not going to be able to get more refills. <laughs> the mayor hands a flask to Durek and says, For your travels to keep you warm. And he kind of salutes and says, I must get back to the festival. That's it. <laughs> you had Just a flask. Jesus. <laughs> I look at Durek and I'm like, Jesus, you greedy fuck. <laughs> this will last me a few steps. You can have everything you would like when you get back. And, and he disappears over the hill. He's back to the festival. All right. So you're, just... <laughs> you're standing on a path surrounded on either side by several headstones dotting the hills and thick black brambles due to years of no groundskeeping. On a small incline, a small hill, you see this mausoleum you're supposed to head to. Oh, I'm going to start walking have. towards the mausoleum, cautiously, but, you know, I'll start walking towards it. Then I'll so turn around and yell, are you rusty? Oh, sorry. Roll 20 to move. Go to roll 20. Okay. And I'm going to do my best here because my map's going to have to be tiny. And also, before we get into this, um, I may suggest a quick five- to 10 minute break if anyone needs one. A break would be good. Okay. Yes, Allison, I'm sorry I cut you off. Well, I, <laughs> I was just trying too. to. I okay. bad. <laughs> yeah, I just, I was like, are we jumping over to this map? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm going to add some text. Cancel. Okay. We are going to take a quick break. Um, I don't have a break screen, so we're just going to basically walk away for a minute. So. <laughs> Here, here's a cat. Say hi. Yay, kitties! <laughs> the magic of live streaming. So All right, we'll cute. be back in about 10 minutes, guys. Thank you. Well, that was awesome. All right. Probably go take a week before we get back on. Eh. <laughs> I'm going to hold it for the whole game, guys. Well, I got cups <laughs> down here. <laughs> Do not drink out of that cup. All right. Don't, not that one. Don't drink ten, that one. Uh, that one. Ten minutes.
We're the winners. Yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> Third place, it's Jason. <laughs> I've actually been here for a little bit. <laughs> Just sitting there judging? <laughs> Baby. I'm excited. I'm having fun. And I didn't know. I was hoping we were moving through stuff fast enough for you, so. I didn't expect the carnival to take an hour, but that is perfectly fine. Say hi to Boots. Oh, boots. hi, Boots. Where's Dora? <laughs> and then, then there's Mr. Ben right there. He's... <laughs> Camera shy. Oh, I didn't know you had two. <laughs> I have a dog and a cat. And the food's gone, so now they're gone. <laughs> Whoring the pets I out knew. for Twitch viewers. Once in a while, you'll see one jump on the, my chair back there and either jump to the window or go to sleep, so... Wait. I'm gonna go... Grab my tea, which should be done now. Okay. So. Ready for Nikki and Nick, the Nicks, the Nick twins. <coughs> we have six viewers. One of them is me. One of them is Sophie. <laughs> But for those of you who are viewing us that aren't already part of our group, thank you for joining us tonight. It might only be our group. However, if you're watching a restream, thank you so much for being here. Follow us. Help us out. We're just getting started on Twitch. Uh, we actually will stream Fortnite a lot. Um, we're going to put a lot of D&D, &D and we're actually coming up with when I say we, um, Nick and Kirk have come up with our own RPG that we plan to play in the future, so follow along to see that. It's exciting. Yeah, yeah. A lot of cool stuff coming from Haunted Log Studios, baby. Yep, and eventually it will be available for everyone to play, so we'd love yep. to have you. We'd love to have anyone who wants to join. Yep. How is it outside, Nikki? Beautiful. 
I know the kids must be across the street at Grandma and Papa's because they're not back from trick or treating yet. No, it's it's beautiful outside for a Nebraska October <laughs> day. Yeah. Wait, they're trick or treating today? Like it's not Monday? Our neighborhood is having just like a neighborhood trick or treat because the actual night of Halloween, it seems like there's not a whole lot that happens in the neighborhood. Um, mm -hmm. So they are just doing a neighborhood one, which I, th I thought was nice. Nice. Yeah, I've seen that. Um, they have a bunch of churches that do those trunk or treats to try to keep kids from walking the neighborhood. So, yeah. We, we went to a trunk or treat the other night at my daughter's last school. Our schools are weird. They have kindergarten and first grade in one building, and then second through, like, fifth or sixth grade is in the building she's in now. Anyway, they did not expect the turnout they got, and we stood in a line for an hour. Oh, no. Yeah, it's Shannon sent us a picture. Yeah, I saw the picture. <laughs> yeah. I, I was uh, laughing at that. I, um... I, I just, you know, I started handing out, because I don't get as many trick-or-treaters, I just started handing out better treats. So, yeah. <laughs> do you do, you do the full size? Uh, no, I don't usually do candy. I do a bag of, like, stickers and, like, little lights and stuff like that. So That's awesome. I, I put since, a sign on our door Nick's that said, that. our candy's across the street at this address because <laughs> I'm fucking busy. I Fuck off. Nick's <laughs> Since he makes that, that post office money now, he should be giving out full-size candy bars. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Are we good? Are we ready to Then he'll get all the trick-or-treaters to his house. So, Let's from what this. I remember, Zenny went mute, ahead Nick. and just walked forward. Yes, right? There's nothing that could go wrong with that plan. Don't worry. Nothing. Is everyone following? What order are we in? Fun cowards! Someone get behind me! I think I first the tank should be in the front. It really doesn't matter because the second everybody the tank. gets through everybody the can like hide behind me. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so as sounds like for 364 days out of the year, they can't keep anybody on staff to maintain this place? <laughs> a, a wind blows right. through the trees as Eric, you say that. You can go first. <laughs> so as the last person steps through the unlocked iron gate, there's a, there was a second gate. <laughs> the door slams shut with a loud clang echoing into the night. You faintly hear digging sounds and moaning from all around you. A skeleton clad in dirty, rotted leather in armor brothel? rises from the grave. From behind you, another skeleton with wisp of long gray hair still clinging to its skull rises. Her once beautiful gown now in tatters hanging from her bones. A once glorious knight in dented and tarnished armor rides down the path from the mausoleum on a skeletal horse, its bones skittering and clinking during the ride. You notice three more graves being disturbed as more skeletons rise. Let's roll initiative. Is Knight on Bald Mountain also playing in the background? <laughs> I thought about adding music to tonight's stream, but I could not handle it. <laughs> <laughs> Nick looks uh, like Emperor Palpatine going on right now. Do it. All right. Do it. Wait, are we using the roll 20 map or are we just going ahead with whatever's in our minds? Um, I kind of tried to do something, but I'm not very good at the map, I think. I looks like she's trying to eat that kid's face. Ah. I, mean, I don't yep. judge. All right, I'm streaming with kids, so give me a minute. <laughs> oh. So now we're back at, uh, you know, on break. So, uh, you know, we'll just fill the dead air and stare at each other now, okay? No, I, I was I was sitting there. I'm like, gee, I hope it's not zombies. I really don't like zombies. Zombies aren't like happy fun time for me. And 
zombies. Skeletons zombies. are. That's true. They are skeletons. Spooky, spooky skeleton. <laughs> Are we supposed to be able to like move our our our, our tokens here? Or? I think she has to move them. Yeah. Oh, that's weird because we're supposed to be able to move our own, but I don't know. I know it's weird. Yeah. Move our own. Well, it looks like somebody's trying to move. That's me. I'm like I'm like maybe one of these will move, so I'm going to hit everyone. <laughs> Uh, it did not work that way. <laughs> See, the magic of not being live is editing out that shit. <laughs> so let me get your monsters on the uh, map here. It makes it real and raw. It's so real. And gritty. She lost her glow stick. All, I think she's just exhausted. <laughs> okay, so we got two... Leather skeletons. Oh, we should all dress Spooky. like this. <laughs> okay. I'm I'd like hiding warm. in my chair. You can't even see me anymore. I don't have a hoodie. Oh. Or I, I, I changed out of my hoodie. I, 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 I bag. get warm. Okay, I need all of this shit to work with me. Ugh. I Are we the shit? I blame Scott. He said, have maps. <laughs> have maps, guys. <laughs> I lost my other string. Oh, there it is. <laughs> By the way, I don't think we can move our tokens. I think you have to do that. Are you shitting me right now? <laughs> nope. You gotta, like... You gotta do all the work, movement. Shannon. Oh, my God. Why? Why do I agree to any of this? Because you're using a visual aid. <laughs> I need a lot of aids. <laughs> I came in on AIDS. <laughs> oh my god. All right. I don't even know. Right, so we've got skeletons showing up in all, all these different places. Are the little beds tombstones? Okay, so if you look on the map, you have usually have a command that DM can unlock to allow other players to play. On the map, in there's C1 through C6. I see all that. Um, I don't know how to unlock anything, so we'll just communicate here. Yeah, I did not realize that was a thing. Um, dice, keyboard, miscellaneous. Fix, hover, nope. Yeah, I don't know how to change all that, and I'm not going to hold up the stream. So I guess you guys will just tell me where the hell you want to move. So mm -hmm. after, we're going to get back on track here. Um... Give me initiatives, please. 19. Initiative? 17. So you uh, roll a d20 and add cool. your 13 initiative bonus. Gotcha. What's your deck score? I'm just looking for initiative. I apologize. You're totally fine because I'm not quite ready to roll either. I don't even have a pen. I'm using a Sharpie. There's my pen. <laughs> <laughs> I was on on the ball until my child came in here crying. And now I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna roll a twenty because I don't, I don't see initiative. Yeah, you roll a twenty, and then be what's in your the deck score? Upper middle next to your armor class. Oh, oh, it's three. Okay. So whatever you rolled plus three. <laughs> don't worry, I'm rolling a seven right now. So <laughs> I got some quality <laughs> rolls. 
Well, you know, you want to look for someone who can really bring the game <laughs> up a level or two. <laughs> and and you you pick you pick you pick me. Uh it's fine. Solid. Darling, wait till fine. you see my DM rolls. Dump truck, what did you get? I got twelve. Twelve. All right, well this... Dirk, what'd you get? I got Dirk, seventeen. The skeletons oh, wow. okay. are very slow and undead, so they are last, and we're going what? to start with Snowball. Tell me where you'd like to go, Snowball. All right, so I just want to go from where my character is, and I'm going to come up about, what's that, one, two, three squares to where I'm kind of out of his reach. Does that See look good I'm there? Yeah, that'll work. And then I'm going to fire an Eldritch Blast on his ass. That's a... Fourteen to hit? That's a hit. Alright. And... We're going with a whole... Nine points of damage. That hurts. That blows an entire arm off. And now I'm going to use my bonus action and put my Hexblade's curse on him. Is that something I need to follow or you got that? That's the one where I got to remember to add two to all my damage rolls. Okay. You don't have to worry about that. All right. He's not looking good. Is that all you got? <laughs> That's all I got. Derek, where do you want to go? All right. Go ahead and move me 25 feet towards C6. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. You want to be right next to him? Yep. I don't know if diagonal is supposed to be, you know, whatever. It works. Yeah. And this I'll go ahead. And... We don't have to go by rules. <laughs> And I'll go ahead and take my, 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 what, what, what do I, oh, I've got a, a war hammer and come down right onto a skull. Let's see here. That's a, a 14 plus. That's a 19. To hit? Or damage. That was to hit. So yep, here's damage. Yep. All right. So five damage. All right. Some dust falls off of his skull and it cracks a little bit. And he looks at you. And I mean, obviously he has no face facial features, but he does not look happy with you. Do Great. you have more? Nope. Merida, where do you want to go? I'm going to go for the first one. The one Snowball went for? Yes. All right. Um, I don't know how far you moved. Do you want to be right next to it? Uh, 30 speed. So, sure, right there. Yeah, you'll work there. All right. So, I have to do... Wait, how do I figure out how I hit again? Um, roll a d20 plus any pluses you have. It should be right there next to your weapon. Next one. Okay. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> <laughs> you go to swing, and you actually swing right through where his arm used to be that Snowball knocked off. And that's a miss. And I taunt her and I say, keep on whiffing. Maybe she'll catch a cold. <laughs> Anything else? Nope, I'm done. Okay, um, that brings us to Dump Truck. 
<laughs> oh no! Here we go. All right. I love so, that name. <laughs> you know he's watching you guys flounder with one guy. He's gonna walk up to the one that you guys been fighting with. Oh, like oh, split the now party. That <laughs> now that I've loosed, I've uh, loosened the jar. Him, you're gonna kill. You're gonna. You're gonna steal my kill. I'm gonna Adams Banks everybody. All right. Yep. I'm gonna take a whack at him. I'm gonna throw my net on him first. I, I want to do that first. What does so, that do? Is what, so it incapacitates him, so he can't move around. Okay. Right? So we're going to throw a net. So that's plus three to hit. And I got a 22 to that. <laughs> yes. So so a net, uh, a large or smaller creature hit by a net is restrained until it's freed. A net has no effect on the creature. If they're formless, but whatever, blah, blah, blah. Until yeah, so, so you have what to do free I have to him? roll to free it? Yeah, a creature can use its action to make a DC 10 strength check, freeing itself or another creature within reach of its, right? Okay. Um, it does five slashing damage to the net, also frees the creature. So, Jesus, Soph, can you jump any harder upstairs? <laughs> so that's that. And then I'm going to pull my trident and I'm going to stab it through the net. Okay. So, uh... That is a 22 to hit. Yes, sir. Jeebus. With <laughs> six damage. Well, that is exactly what he had. So you go to stab him through the neck and you kill completely him, I kill you, asshole. decapitate his vertebrae. He's done. You guys look like you needed help. Oh, my hair needs help. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man. But, uh, <laughs> he, uh, he got what he deserved. <laughs> Took three of you, plus me, to kill him. So. That brings us to Zenny. And My Zenny, you should have a ranged weapon that should show mm -hmm. you the range on it. Range. Or you can move up and use a dagger or whatever melee you have. Um, I think I have. looks like I have arrows. I'm just looking for the range on it. You have a bow. And it's mm -hmm. it's long. It's like hundred yards. You're close or enough. Feet, something like that. Essentially, the range on that is if you're within a certain area, you get a normal roll, and if you're further than that, it's at disadvantage. You have a normal roll. So if you roll a d twenty plus, mm -hmm. she should be proficient in it. Correct. Dude. You need I don't know. I, I used D and D Beyond, which isn't really exactly D and D. It's a, a Wikipedia page to make that character. So <laughs> we threw her in with the sharks. I see and what a you chum did bucket. there. See what I did there? I see what you did there, and I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, roll a D twenty and add. Um, oh, I need to look at a sheet. Dude, really, you need a haircut, buddy. I know. But I'm going to let this all grow out so I look like a complete psycho at work. And then they'll just leave me alone even more than they do right now. What's your guys' proficiency <laughs> nice. bonus right now? Plus one? 17. Dos. Yeah, plus two. two. Fuck it. Roll a d20, add two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I rolled a solid eight. Oh, man. Hey. You must be frightened by those skeletons because as that arrow flies, it just goes right over its head. And But you don't hit Durek, who is also standing there, so you're good. I'm going to have you going... Look back, get me. All right. Uh, for the record, I'm very good at stealth and running away. <laughs> I like these two options the best. So Still, sleight of hand, dexterity, and running away, and acrobatics. So, I mean, I'll, I'll just start running. <laughs> you're, you're actually pretty safe where you're at, because <laughs> skeleton number one is dead. He's gone. Um, hey, Nikki, bring your camera up. There you go. Skeleton, she was showing off her kitty. Skeleton number That's two is going what everybody for was Durek. Seeing. Which means, with a short sword, 
Choice wood. Sorry, twig. Choice That's a miss. wood. He goes to swing and he swings too damn high because he doesn't realize that Derek is a dwarf. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, muscle memory. <laughs> Skeleton number two. They move 30 feet. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It's actually going to move here within Merida's reach. And try to hit her that with one was short dead. sword. Did no, Nick, she moved the one Nick from not kill that one? Oh, oh there's another. See, I got a, uh, I got a little well, screen. So. See, okay. Next time I'll do better. C6 was my first move. C2 is who I'm moving now. I'll move him in order next time. Okay, I'm just curious. New to maps. So, <laughs> no we're worries. actually... No worries. As it's running up, it kind of stumbles, and it goes to swing at Merida, but it misses from the stumble. Doing great. C3, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, moves there. C4, moves there. 4, 5, 30. This is going to move up to Durek. With the short sword. Oh, buddy, that's a 20. <laughs> Ouch. So. Three, six. Don't worry. They're not that strong. As she kills him. Five, six. Seven. Seven piercing damage to Durek. I forgot to take my repost on the miss. From the from the original one. All right, that takes us back up to Snowball. You've got this. You can see it on the map. Fuck it. <laughs> well, apparently, I didn't know we had all these skeletons. So, um, oh no. You've got one that is right by you, by uh, above Merida, and then Durek to the right. Has two on him. So go ahead and move me close enough to engage the one that's by Merida. Okay. Okay. And I am going to use my packed weapon to uh, take a try to take it out, give it a little damage. Fourteen to hit? Uh yes. Okay. Where's the D eight? I always get those mixed up. Uh, right there it is. Oh wow. That's amazing. Shit. Uh eight points of damage. Okay, he's not looking good. He's got pieces missing. But he's still up. If he had blood, he'd be bloodied. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and use my, uh, Hexblade's curse on him again okay. on that one. So I know Nick, uh, dump truck's going to come and steal my kill, but you know, I'll have curse on him. All right, Derek, you're up. All right. So I'll attack, uh, C6 again. Okay. That's, yeah, that's oh, that's a a, na a natural twenty. Nice. And that's uh six points of damage. Not looking good. He's still up, but he's looking bad. Anything else? Nope. Merida, you are standing right next to the skeleton that Snowball is helping you with. He's not looking good, but he's still up. Uh, I'm going to attack him. Uh, 20 to hit? Yeah. Take is it a natural or it. unnatural? No, it's plus two. Okay. Oh. All right. So then... Get the crap out of that rock. 
one Who's this happening over point? here? Why hasn't they moved? Yeah, one one hit points. I rolled a D one D eight and I got one. Wow. Do I have Good to add call. the two? <laughs> I don't think or you add that... it to damage. Just for the D20. But it's still a good hit. You connect with its skull, dust flies in Snowball's direction, and you hear, you hurt him. <laughs> Yay! Dump truck, you're right by Snowball and Meredith. Dump truck. Wow, you guys really suck. <laughs> Dump truck, kill. kill suck it. It. He just moves up Ooh. right next to that skeleton and like unleashes uh, the trident attack on it. Looks like, looks like we're tag team in it. Oh my god! With an eighteen to hit. Uh, yeah. Oh Jesus! Yeah, uh, five damage. All right, he is knocked down. That's Snowball two. is like, all right. I see how you are now. That's I'm gonna two. get competitive. Here we go. Let yeah, me... but it's not your turn. <laughs> Just you wait. Do you have anything else, Dump Truck? No. That's all I got. Good job doing your job, rabbit. Dump Truck. I'm throw the net on the rabbit so he shuts up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, Zenny, you can shoot at the one by Durek if you'd like, or you can move closer. I'll shoot at the one by Derek. I found... <laughs> My bow apparently is plus five hit. I don't know what that means, but if I add five. You're rolling d d20 and you then like. you add five to it. Yep. I got uh, 13. That's a hit. Now we got to roll damage. It should say, like, however many d eight. whatever cited next yeah. to it. D8 plus. Three. Yep. Uh, nine. Wow. Okay, so this arrow comes flying over Durek's head and hits the skeleton, knocking it out. It's done. Nice. Not even she got a kill. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fair. <laughs> Skeletons are up. Does anybody else think that Jason's name sounds like a condom? Yep. Durek's. For her pleasure. Yep. <laughs> so this one's going to be number one. This one next to Durek's going to be number two. And obviously he's going to go for Durek. With a short sword. Short sword. Short sword. Who does number two work for? <laughs> 17. That's a miss on Durek. I'm going to take a riposte on him. Okay. 16? Yeah. Four points. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And this last Good thing guy, these things aren't very weak. This last one up here that's next to C25 is actually going to use his short bow on... I want to say Durek, but Snowball's got a cleaner hit. Let's see. 80, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, he's going for uh, Snowball on that. 21 on Snowball, which is a hit. Jeebus. That's eight piercing damage on Snowball. Got it. Ouch. Which takes us back up to Snowball. So how far away is that skeleton? The one that just shot you is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30 feet diagonally away. You have one to the north of you that's about 15 feet away. I'm going for the fucker that shot me. Okay. You're next to him. Nope. I want to go back to where I was. Okay. I use my Eldritch Blast. Okay. And anybody that watching is... the stream, I have to apologize. We had roll 20 on the stream, but it was freezing crap up. Hopefully in the future we can get this. 
That was a 25 to hit. Yes. There, Bab. Sir. Yeah. <laughs> 12 points of damage. Wow. You blow him back a square. And he's not looking good. God damn it. How many fucking hit points do these guys have? 30,000. <laughs> Fucking dumb shit Goliath over there has got two kills already. What the fuck? He's coming up behind you guys after you kind of chip away at him and taking the final blow. <laughs> no shit, he's he's pulling a, a Mr. Oswald. Derek, you're what? up. Coming up behind people. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go after the, the Mr. Skeleton that's right there next to me. Yep, okay. Ooh. 24 to hit. Yes. <laughs> His good dump truck can't move that fast. <laughs> uh, 30 speed. Got big go. legs. That is an 8 damage. He's still up. Not looking good, but he's up. <laughs> he snarls at you and, you know, is like, I'm not happy. <laughs> I wouldn't be either no, if I was be. just, just uh, skin and bone. <laughs> Merida. I would be able to hold my head all. I think you're on mute. Can I go for that guy that's north of me? Yes. Do you want to be like right next to him or diagonal from him? I'm just like diagonal, like one, two, three. Yep, right there. Right there. Like put it right there. Yeah. <laughs> right there, buddy. I'm gonna try to hit him with Do my it. war hammer. Do it. Oh, you hammer him. Hammer him hard. Ten to hit. No. No, you're so excited Jesus. that you go up and you actually hit the ground in front of him. Roar! Boy. It's oh, invitation. Dude. Dude, I'm, I'm serious. These guys are going to catch a cold with the amount of whiffs. He's not intimidated by you, but he does seem a little confused at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> dump truck, you're up. Wait, wait, can well, I take nope. the action surge? Yes, you can. Oh, shit. I'm All using right. the wrong damage. All right, I'm going to use my action charge. sixes. Action charge. <laughs> I tried to hit him again. Do it. Loosen him up for me. Oh, no. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. What are you doing down there? I don't know. I dropped her dice. <laughs> kind of weird. I'm glad we're live. <laughs> I don't know. I lost my T20. <laughs> <laughs> To any new right, viewers, dude. the later we go on in the night, the more the drinks flow. The drinks. The drinks. All right, the drinks. The drinks. No pressure. We're all waiting on you. No pressure at all. We're all staring at you, Nikki. I just rolled it. Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. Nick. Oh, no, what's her name? That? Merida, 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 Merida. Wait. I think I rolled it twice. Oh I think I have God. to take the five. Oh, you rolled like. Yeah, I thought you had a, six, a, a, a sixteen. Yeah. yeah. Take the sixteen. Just fucking take the sixteen. The DM take says so. The sixteen. All right. Yeah, just, it's just a hit. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Two. How much damage? Yeah. Oh what? my lord, I love you. <laughs> All that work for two points of damage? What the hell? You heavy hitter. <laughs> Dump truck. <laughs> Ooh. Guess where I'm going. <laughs> right next to Mary. She's softening him up for you there, right dump truck. Her. Right next. Yep. I felt Perfect. that wind on that whiff. Like, woof. <laughs> All right. So, net comes out, thrown. Here it comes. You and your Ooh. damn net. That is a 10 to hit. I don't know if that works, but... Nope, 10 nope. misses, so he's not netted. He's not netted. Your net's on you the ground. You did not net him. I got a 17 to hit. That hits. And four damage. Cute. I'm just whittling away. 
he's 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 like, wow, you guys are weak. Oh, Zenny, you can yes. shoot at the other Got skeleton on Durek if you'd like. Got three fighters shoot, in the game, and they're all weak. They shoot at the one that they've all been hitting at by Five, C2. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Yeah, yeah, I think that's within range. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say because it was within. The, I you said I had a hundred range, and so yep. yeah. All right, I will shoot at that one. Um, rolled a fifteen. That hits. And nice. Damage. Just a second. You got a heavy bow. Damage is Longbow. five. Five. Oh, Bow. that Bow. arrow like flies through the air and lodges right in its sternum and it looks down like (laughs) 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 teeth start chattering this first skeleton is going to go between dump truck or merida dump truck odd merida's even we got odd for dump truck whatever (laughs) <laughs> Next back. Jesus, whatever. Short sword. Oh no. Chris is back. It's a no my dice like went bouncing across five different things. It's an unnatural twenty. Although yeah, you're huh? immune to fucking everything, so what's the point? I'm just resistant right. to cold, that's it. Five piercing damage to dump truck. Whatever. <laughs> 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 this other one's going for Durek. That is a where the hell is it? Miss. That's a big miss. And the last one at a distance repost. is shooting at Snowball after that Eldridge blast. Oh wait, wait a second! I get a repost. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> My rolling snowballs nineteen. Oh, by the way, why don't you just yell at her? God, <laughs> hey, I get a hit. I get I a hit. Fifteen to hit. That's a hit. Shit. Four one damage. damage. Min- minimum That's damage. Y- one more than you needed. He is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I got a kill. I think Dirk is up there with dump truck. <laughs> so this other one is shooting at Snowball with a 23 to hit, and that is a hit. <laughs> Seven piercing damage to Snowball. Okay, I want to use my reaction to uh, hit him with a hellish rebuke. Okay. So he has to roll a dexterity save of 15 or better. That's a miss. And he fucking A, come on. <laughs> he fucking A? I haven't seen that in the book. Four whole points of damage. That's okay, because you got him. He has no idea what's coming and is out of the game. I wanted, I wanted to fricassee his ass. You did. His <laughs> bones are smoking and halfway to cremation. <laughs> and Snowball, you're up. We have one last skeleton right there with Merida and Dump Truck. I'm going to use my uh, Eldritch Blast. Twelve to hit. That is a miss. Shit. Oh okay. no, my head! Uh, I'm good. Continue. What? <laughs> what? 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 My beer I'm head distract- was about to go all oh. over the place. <laughs> oh, okay. Um. Shit. Yeah, I got nothing. I'm good. Okay. Durek, I don't know that you can get to this other guy. Do you have a ranged attack? I doubt it. I, I, as I say, I've only got 25. Um, I could throw my... Well, I'd have to drop it, though. I could launch my javelin at him. 
You could drink your flask. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to drink my flask. <laughs> yeah, he's out of range. They got that covered. There's three of them over there. Merida, you're up. I'm going to swing my warhammer. Hit him, Lassie. Hit him. She's going to whiff with her warhammer. I've. That's a mess. As I told you last time, you <laughs> swing like my wife. We're going shopping soon and buying you new <laughs> dice. <laughs> Yes. New new dice. New new dice. New new dice. And then we're gonna take some sage and we're going to bless them. <laughs> and then we're I'm gonna put them Nikki in the for oven. Christmas. Yeah. And we're gonna heat them up. And get Nikki a dice jail. <laughs> Dump truck, you're up. Dump, Dump truck. truck. Uh. <clears throat> where am I? Should I do anything? You're no, right I'm just next leave to this the last to skeleton. I just walk away. Oh, you're not no, going to steal kidding. that skill? <laughs> that kill? I'm going to steal that can... kill. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to throw my net down. Ooh, look at that. 22. That nets him. Boom. Yeah. He's in the dark then... web. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. 14 to hit. That's it. Oh, my God. I, this, this. Woo. Here's a massive four damage for you. You know what? That's all he needed. Dump That's truck I got three kills. kills another freaking kill. I got nice. one, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I, got I got one. one. I deleted dump truck. <laughs> <laughs> My dump truck. <laughs> he's in he's in Ravenloft right? now. Oopsie doodles. Oh shit, now you're too He's big. in Ravenloft. Fuck it, we're done with this map. Let's oh. move on. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, There's that was good stuff. Another map. Don't we have to right. like the mausoleum? Yep. Mausoleum. So as you enter the mausoleum, you feel a further drop in temperature as the door is slammed shut behind you. The air is dry. Why didn't somebody block the gate? Why didn't somebody put something in front of the door? Do you want to check the door? You were right in front of the door. I would like to check the door. Why it's, didn't you do something? It is sealed shut. <laughs> you know, just stood there. Let it, just, just, bitch. <laughs> you just you just stood there and let it shut. Listen, Bunny, you could have stuck your ears in there. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm three feet tall. Me, 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 me. Come on, on people. Let's Never just get felt along. so tall in my life being next to you, Zenny. So, you notice the air I is dry. I want to get back to have more ale. <laughs> you still have a flask. I mean, you probably only have a couple swigs left, but it's there. I know. Oh. So you need a flask and a lighter, and you got a fireball. <laughs> <laughs> you notice the air of is good dry, ale. <laughs> but the faint scent of decay permeates the stone interior. A wide hall leads to a large, circular interior. In the center, a short pedestal stands affixed with a bronze plaque written in common. The pedestal's plaque reads, Three doors for three fears. Each way breeds despair. What each holds, no one knows. Make a choice, there's no way out. Three heavy wooden doors line the back wall, each also affixed with a plaque. I don't think this rhyme at all. I don't like this poem at all. That? And the rhyming was bad. Yes, I agree. Yes. Yeah. There was there was no there was no there's rhythm. No, or meter. Yeah. Part part of the horror is effing with your OCD and your ADHD. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the true horror of the show. <laughs> Question, do we get a new map or is this all in our imagination? Oh. Right now we're in our imagination. I go to the first door and check out what it says on that one. Yep, no map for that. Okay, so the first door. Thomas Well Manor, written hastily in etched writing. The store appears very old with a rusted brass doorknob and various mold stains. There is a faint smell of mildew. I like it. It reminds me of my shower. I'm going in. <laughs> 
You don't want to look at the other doors? I don't look at door three. I'm going to go look at the other door. One of the other doors. <laughs> All right. Zenny okay. said, wanna, is, there, is there a door three? Yep. Zenny I said door see. three. So oh, this door it. has a first. string of faded colored pennants dangling from the top. Bits of straw poke out along the edges of the door and has gathered in a thin layer near the bottom of the floor. There's a s faint smell that lingers. It That's smells. the faint smell? It smells Sorry. like hay and popcorn. My farts. Nope. <laughs> nope. The center door. No plaque? <laughs> the center door says the gourd field with a smiling jack-o'-lantern etched towards the right-hand edge. This door has small green vines clinging to the edges. It feels warmer than the others, and the faint smell of dirt surrounds it. Um, I already just walked through a split. cemetery. I gotta go door number three. <laughs> I don't believe oh, God, in God, there better not be the... clowns. If there are clowns, <laughs> I'm gonna be very upset. Clowns is number three. You know it is. I'm, just... I'm going door number two. As okay. I was trying to say, for the sake of this, I'm going to go through Jesus Christ. For the sake of <laughs> this stream, we need to agree on a door. Okay. I say one. I say two. Three. Okay. Doesn't matter what I say. Does anybody? Yes, you have to vote. We can vote. Eric, <laughs> you have to vote. What door? Give me percep perception checks. I was trying to say one. Yes. Come on, Derek. I'm staying with the Goliath. I was gonna say I, I was gonna go. I was I'm gonna go one as well, but my perception check was like a seven. <laughs> um, you want to mess with your OCD? You go in order of the notes. Eight. All right, your perception sucks. Yeah. I'm just gonna give it to you. My perception so is fourteen. My perception is fourteen. Does that help? Zenny can hear all this. So on door one, you can hear a faint howling. It's ghostly and it's ethereal and it's creepy from door number one. Door number two, you notice that the vines are slowly pulsating back and forth. Almost to where you can't nope. see it unless you're concentrating. And door three. Too much hentai. Door yep. three, you hear faint carnival music on the other side of the door, like a calliope. Nope, we're going door one. Number three, come on. Lucky number on. three, let's go three. Carnival no, music. No, 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 number one. Three, three number has one. clowns, you know it's the clowns. I'm gonna, I'm Two gonna comment here. Two is tentacle rape, and here. one is fighting a werewolf. Is, er, uh, Derek? Come on, you're the only one who hasn't voted. One, really? Outnumbered. I win at number one. I heard All a lot of threes. No, I said one, Nick said one, and Jason said one. He said three. He no, I, I didn't. Said I said one. I'm going to need everyone to look into Discord real fast. And if you don't agree, you don't have to listen. <laughs> That's why I was picking three. <laughs> I thought we had to do all three of them because it's no. the three fears of the no. mausoleum. We won. Well, a little bit of insight from the GM. You can do all three. However, it's 9 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> and I had only planned for one. So whatever door you pick uh, is what we're going to so do. We, we know which one she wants to do. She wants to do three. So let's go to three because that's the one the DM read. That's no, the one that DM I wants. read and prepped and did <laughs> art for all three. So. No, let's do three. It's fine. <laughs> of course, the two the two women in the party win. No, no, yeah. no, no. What did the three men vote for? They voted for one. one. Oh, so three going two. Three. So it's one. We're going to one. No, we're going. We're one. One. Three. Two. One. Two. one two. We're going. We're going to two. One. <laughs> we're going to four. <laughs> Nobody voted on two. Let's go to two. <laughs> oh my yeah, god. Yeah, we all get. Raped by pumpkins. Jordy rules. Perfect. We're going to one. <laughs> oh, now I kind of don't want to like go there. A bunch of now I don't want to go since I know that door three is the most get. fun. <laughs> right, door three is the most fun. So are we going to door we're going three? To three? We're going I to door three. I changed my vote to three. Men win. It's going to be terrible. 
Oh my god. I just want to get back so I can drink more ale. <laughs> It's going to be ale at the carnival. You're not going to find ale with a bunch of moldy spirits. Cannon door three. Okay. So. <laughs> Just roll on it. You, you go through door three. You find yourself standing at the entrance of what seems to be a carnival of some sorts. The faint sound of calliope music drifts on the air and the smell of popcorn and other treats greets your nose, all underlaid by the slightly sickening smell of grease and oils. Ahead of you... Okay, I'm going to put the map on roll 20. We don't have tokens because essentially we it's fine. We don't need to move around here. Who let my fucking cat in here? Anyway... So, <laughs> oh, look at the shinies! <laughs> Ahead of you, you see a short, shortish what? hill topped by a blue and white striped big, big top style tent. Large, dark iron chains wrap the tent, and you see six huge locks dangling over the tent's entrance. A smiling scarecrow dressed in a stained ringleader outfit leans on a cracked wooden sign just in front of the tent's entryway. Yeah, no nightmares here. The door in which you entered from the mausoleum is nowhere to be seen. Can I go check that uh, ringleader, please? He's leaning against a sign that says six games, six... I got your back. Six games, six punishments. Play our games Ooh. of pure reverence. The Haystack Carnival welcomes you. Without players, what would we do? Play to win or suffer no reprieve. Unlock the locks to return to Eve. That's lame. Uh, is this jacket my size? Oh my god, I really want this jacket. And does he have those stripy pants? Because I like those stripy pants too. He, he has I a started red, undressing this. A I red started undressing jacket. Him. <laughs> He's very much Ooh, yeah, smaller undress than him. dump truck. Undress him, dump truck. <laughs> yeah? All right, I start. It doesn't matter if it fits or not, I'm putting him on. Actually, as soon as you try to pull his clothes off of him, you don't see him move, but you feel everything tighten to where there's no way you can get these clothes off. And you start it's to like see prom night. <laughs> his smile is now a deep set frown. You just pissed off the scarecrow. Stop pissing off I was the playing scarecrow. his game. <laughs> we have yeah. to a scary movie don't too, we? right? I go give the scarecrow a hug. And it eats your face. <laughs> I give it a, a grope and I go look at one of the one of the things. <laughs> I kind of just like check and then <laughs> I pull an arky and I just kind of like <laughs> Merida <laughs> feels the scarecrow kind of lean into her, and as she pulls away, it's no longer frowning, but it doesn't quite seem happy. And oh, you do see six outshoots around you that appear to be kind of like the festival you just left. There's carnival games. What are the games? Right. Mm. Let's do this. Which area would you like to go to? You're currently at the bottom of the map. What I map? I can't find the map. What if there's not a map? I changed, one, I changed it on roll 20. You don't see it? It did not no. change. Okay, click on the page toolbar at the top of the page. Do you see that? No. I'll post it in Discord. Fuck Roll20. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that what Roll I got 20. to say right about face. that. Right in the face. Right in the fucking face. All right, if you look in the general on Discord, you'll see the map. Do you see it? These very pages? Yep. Yes. Okay. So you have... It's like a beyonder. It, you're down by H3 and H8, and then you have stuff all the way around. What is H1? H1 is just the center? H1 is the big top tent, the blue and white big top tent that's front door is covered in six chains. Gotcha. And okay. H3 so we have to go to the six <laughs> spots before we can, that'll, in each one that we 
Success will probably yep. unlock one of the chains. Inspiration point to Durek. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, because this is like, uh, it's a beholder and it's also a crewmate. Yep. <laughs> right. It's very sus. H2 sus. is sus. where you're standing. That's where the sign of the scarecrow is. Sus. I'm going to go to H3. All right. I want to go to cassette player on the top. <laughs> oh, well, eventually. <laughs> Let's just split the party. Can I go to the hot tub at H7? So, uh, so uh, at the minimum, Merida walks up to the strongman <laughs> game. A tall shaft like of metal sits atop a raised platform. Markers stretch up the pillars at regular intervals, alternating between yellow and red. At the top of the metal... Oh my god, I've had too many beers. At the top of the metal pole is a bell, and at its base, a solid metal cylinder rests atop an angled lever. So, a lot of words, it's a strongman game. There's a sledgehammer that sits there, and there's a small sign to the side of the game that says, Test your strength. Take three swings with me. our mallet to see who is the strongest. I am the strongest. Give me your mallet. Oh, Jesus, she's cocky. Oh, boy. All right, give me a strength check. She's going to miss. She's going to whiff. Been whiffing all night. Three. You know what? I'm going to stay positive. I'm going to say it's going to go well. Three strength checks. Seven. <laughs> Did you say seven? <laughs> seven. Give me oh, another. Sorry, boots. Fifteen. Okay, give me one more. That was three, seven, seven, fifteen. I rolled two threes in. Oh my goodness. Like I said, whiff, whiff, hit. So you hit it twice, and it goes up, and you hear a whisper, kobold, kobold. And then on the last swing, you hear, werewolf. And you hear, as soon as you hit that werewolf, you hear three very loud clicks, followed by a huge thud, and you notice one of the locks comes undone on the chain and falls to the ground in front of the big top. I head over there while we cut scene to somebody else. I'll go to the next game. All right. Next game. H4. Sure. Right. Is well, not the hot tub, but <laughs> H four. This offshoot from the central area of the carnival has a platform a couple feet off the ground with a short staircase leading up to it. Close to the steps on top of the platform is a small table holding three rusted and chipped daggers. On the opposite side of the platform is a large circular red and white target board. It rotates slightly back and forth, giving out a soft creak with each movement. Strapped to the board is a torn and tattered scarecrow with a painted smile stretched across its face. Beside the daggers is a brightly colored note that reads, Welcome to Dagger Throw, starting Voodoo Lee. Test your aim and skill against the spinning target. But beware, each hit against Voodoo Lee tends to find its way back to you. You get three throws, so good luck. Who's picking up uh, these well, daggers? I'll do it. I have seven hit points left, so who cares? <laughs> Let's do this. As soon as Dump Truck picks up the first dagger, the target begins to spin. Give me attack rolls. You are throwing Whoa. daggers, so if you're proficient in dagger throwing... <laughs> no. I think I should have done this one. It's okay. I'm good at athletics. I got a plus five. Okay. Here we go. You would use athletics, right? Because it's a throwing thing, so... Sure. Ranged is usually dex. That is a 13. <sighs> and a 17. And a 21. All right, so that first dagger you throw, 
as Voodooly is spinning on the platform, lands in its arm, its forearm, and as soon as that dagger hits, this black ooze starts coming out of the scarecrow's arm, and you notice that your arm starts bleeding for one point of piercing damage. All right, dude, I'm glad it was you and not me, dump truck. Yeah, we wouldn't want you to get a uh, little bit of damage today. I took more we damage you to than you up. have. Wouldn't want you to get up that uh, little messy in your uniform. <laughs> the other two, however, as Voodooly is spinning, misses a scarecrow. Thunk, thunk into the wood. And as soon as you throw that last dagger, he stops spinning and you hear some loud clicking and, and a thunk as another lock comes off the big top. Yeah. Nice. See? I'm not totally <laughs> worthless. Gonna head to H5? Sure. All right. A large platform rises a few feet from the ground. Atop it rests a table holding a typical carnival snacks and drinks. Hot dogs, cider, pies, popcorn, candy apples, and a myriad of others, all in various states it of sounds decay. Like Derek's job. A banner draped along the front of the table reads, All you can eat! Enjoy your carnival delights and see if you can keep it all down. Eat any three items and hold your meal. Boy. Sounds like a job for you, Dirk. That's what I was going to say. All right, I'll, like I'll, give, I'll, I'll give this one a try. <laughs> give me three. Actually, you know what? With each constitution roll you make, let me know what rotted item you are eating. Was there anything to drink first? I... There is a apple cider that is a little oh, bit viscous and chunky. Well, <laughs> all right. Well, well, we'll do that one first. Halloween uh, gross out here. Sorry, guys. Fourteen. <laughs> 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 okay. So you go to drink this apple cider and you can feel every single second it is going down your throat. And you you retch a little bit, but you manage to keep it down. What's your next delight? What's kind of a love with a, a bread? You have a bread Corn. that has little circles of green on it and a little bit of black. Hey, we'll go we'll we'll go with that, I guess. Drunk still. Just gonna get some penicillin down in the natural form. (laughs) (laughs) Oh eight. (laughs) You go to take a bite of this bread and it almost chips your your teeth how freaking hard it is to chew and as you're Ah, trying ah, to get through it you kind of throw it back up it doesn't work (laughs) you've got one more chance anything like this kind of like the long lines of maybe some sweets you've got an apple pie that is just it seems like it may have had some uh, pest on it. <laughs> You've got a <laughs> sweet bread that has maybe a little bit of a fuzz over it. Candy. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll, we'll go with the apple pie. Okay. Oh. Eleven. Oh God. We are horrible. <laughs> you got to take a bite of this apple pie. And you realize the reason it's bad is something laid its eggs in there. Yes. And as it's squirming around in your mouth, mm. you can't hold it down. You puke. <coughs> so He's not the only one. Projectile? <laughs> you now have the poisoned condition for the remainder of your time at the carnival. Oh... <laughs> I take what's left of my 
Ask a veil to try to wash it all out. <laughs> so, but as that happens, the lock does click. You get the clicks, you get the thunk. That's a third lock down. Um. All right. So, what, 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 what does it mean to be poisoned then for the rest of the time in the carnival? You Where's have an alien disadvantage <laughs> on attack rolls and ability checks. Uh, right. And I'm sorry, Allison. What was that? I was gonna say. Uh, I was asking Jason if you've ever seen Alien. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you ever Recently, seen, uh, and we played it for eight months. <laughs> All right. All right. Or oh shit! Not again. <laughs> <laughs> the next. Out- Hello, Manarla. No, 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 no. That's the wrong movie. The next offshoot <laughs> is called How Many Beans? A tall glass cylinder cylinder sits on the far side of this offshoot. Inside, you see an almost innumerable number of multicolored, undulating bean-like objects. A large white banner adheres to the front of the cylinder that reads, Guess how many beans? These beans come from far beyond the stars and have a nasty tendency to make you realize your worst fears. You get three guesses, so make them count. You see a scarecrow leaning against the glass cylinder, a stone tablet in hand, and three sticks of chalk tucked into his arm. No ball. This one's yours. <laughs> Guess it's mine. Let's do this. <laughs> so. I think there's ten. Ten. <laughs> Say ten. No more than, no more than two. One dollar. No more than two. So <laughs> two hundred and one. You can do is you can investigate it, or you can just straight up check. I'll do a check. I mean, guess. I'm in a straight up guess. Uh, how? Do, what? What do you want to use to investigate with? Like what? You got investigation, perception. Let's go with uh, perception. Okay. What is wrong with all of us tonight? (laughs) We're playing like usual. That was a nine. So, from your perception, you can tell that there's beans in this glass cylinder. <laughs> Good eye, Snowball. Good eye. Yeah. <laughs> Look, there's beans. So, Way to go, Captain else. Obvious. I need you to walk up to the Scarecrow and write a number on the chalkboard with chalk. Oh. Okay. Um, let's go with, is it a big cylinder, little cylinder? Is it like sitting on a table? It's on a table. Um, I'd say it's maybe the size of this tankard I have in my hand. Like, it's not huge. I'll go with 895 point. Three seven two six seven nine five zero three two one. I need an intelligent saving throw, please. <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> no, that's a four. <laughs> so you guy's, you feel this guy has gone cold. You feel like there's there's something in your brain almost reaching out to grab a hold of you. Perfect. Nothing is happening permanently yet, but you do see as you glance back to the scarecrow, there's a sign around its neck that says, much lower, stupid. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. You got do two, I have to guess again? Two pieces of chalk left. Like 392 or something. With 300. Seven. Give me an intelligence saving throw. No more than two. Nine. 
Nine. You fall back on your little cotton tail, and you are terrified of scarecrows. You have the frightened condition no now. No, no surprise there. <laughs> and you hear the you hear the clicks, and you hear the lock fall. And then you see a sign around the scarecrow's neck that says 77. And you can almost feel like it's painted on face is painted on in disappointment. Oh, Jesus. Looks like my mom. Always disappointed. (laughs) (laughs) So we're walking on to the next game. Seven. H7. You see a round platform raised a couple of feet off the ground in the center of the section of the carnival. Stairs lead up the platform and end just shy of another, smaller platform that rises an additional foot from its center. In the middle of the platform is a note with a blindfold laying on top of it. Seven unlit torches surround the platform along the walls of this area. The note reads, Spot the light! Wrap the cloth around your eyes and step on up. You get three guesses to identify which torch alights. Good luck. All right, I think I'm up next. You have a thirty-three point three 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 percent chance. <laughs> yeah, you have really good perception because you're gonna need it. Uh, I have plus yeah. two. No, good, good, yeah. Yeah. Does anyone Someone else, else want to step up? Perception. I'm still at the um, chain that fell off of whatever on my first thing. You're at I the got a plus zero. Entrance of the big top, probably avoiding chains as they fall. <laughs> I, uh, I have a plus two on perception. I've got good dexterity, but yeah. there you go. Do it. Do it. Do it. All right, Zenny, you go to the middle of this platform and you tie the blindfold around your eyes. Now, the crazy thing is, the second you go to the center of this platform, you can tell a torch lit, but anybody else standing outside can't see a change, so you can't cheat. So give me a perception check. a d20 with a plus two. Yep. I got a nine. (laughs) Oh, yeah. (laughs) So you hear a torch torch (laughs) light up and you're like, Mm -hmm. I know where that's at. So you walk in the direction you think it is and you grab onto the pull the torches on and you kind of hear a do, do, do. Nope. Wrong. (laughs) Give me. All right. Another perception. <laughs> I got a 12. Slightly better. <laughs> Same thing. You hear a torch light up. And you turn around and try to walk in the direction that you believe this torch is at. And you finally grab onto a torch. And you hear the same sound. You also hear the clicking and the thud of a lock. However, when you take your blindfold off, you realize you have the blind condition now. Okay. And let me look that up. Thanks, Caracruz. Allison's blind. (laughs) (laughs) You pull the blindfold off. And you can't see. It's pitch black. You can hear. Oh, you can smell. But you can't see. A blind ranger. That's perfect. So you're automatically going to fail any ability check that requires sight. And all of your attack rolls against you have advantage. And if you roll to attack, you have disadvantage. Okay. Yay! Uh, I don't know what that means. idea was it to pick door number three? (laughs) Welcome. (laughs) It's fine if you succeed. (laughs) Yeah, this is real fun. 
it's real fun if you you succeed. This group doesn't succeed very often. Yes, none right. of us succeed. Isn't there? Isn't there another? There's like an H eight. H eight. Real quick. Yep, looks like a, yep. Is Derek or I, Snowball poisoned? I am Derek. Poison. I'm scared of the stupid scarecrows. Zenny is blind. Yeah, who's going to the high dive? <laughs> You're up to fortunate tellers. This area of the carnival is relatively empty with only a small building sitting in its center. It's a shack with an open window and a scarecrow wearing blue and silver robes sitting inside. A plaque on the front of the shack reads, Fortunate tellers, impress the haystack oracle with tales of your adventures. I think I got this one, guys. Lord. I mean, I could. <laughs> Go ahead. Go for it. We so, know Zenny can't do it because she blind. Right, it's let's, blind. Let's not right. yeah. You need to I'll entertain into this a damn door. with the tale of your adventure, Whoa, hey. stump truck. All right. So I walk in. All right, uh, sit down. Hey, what do you got to drink of this bitch? The scarecrow just looks at you with a painted on face. Well, see, it, this tale you really need to be drunk for because it involves love, betrayal, uh, a little bit more love. <laughs> and, uh, uh, yeah, I'd be leaving that bitch. All right, so now. <laughs> <laughs> so there I was back in the day when that this town I don't remember what it's called right and I was in this this hot tub right and this little like dirty gnome comes walking in and she's got this weird like I don't know what he was he had a sword but he was naked he had a sword and he was just getting in the tub and he was like constantly trying to like get her to give him a back rub in the bathtub I don't know it was weird I was just like I'm just going to go under the water, and they're not even going to see me. So I went under the water. And, and, and long story short, guy left. And <laughs> uh, uh, and then we, we I hunted him down, and I killed him for her. And it was sweet. And I never saw her again. And then I, I had sex with a lich. <laughs> and then she gave me some yeah. necrotic disease on my wiener. She gave you an ST, an, an NTD, LPD. An NTD, necrotic transmitted disease. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are this you is another trying thing to gotta watch out for. Are you trying to lie to her, impress her, or put on a performance and tell a story? A little bit of all three. Okay, I need a... Give me a roll for any one of those. All right, let's do uh, performance, right? So that's not going to be good. <laughs> it's a bad performance. <laughs> Obviously. I got a 16 to do that. Oh. I got a 16 to impress her. So as you, as you look at this Oracle Scarecrow, she's not quite smiling, but she looks a little more impressed than when you walked in. You hear three loud clicks following by that thud. When that chain comes off the big top and falls to the ground, you don't feel any ill effects. You seem fine. And now that I got that unlocked, uh, you, you're you're immune to necrotic transmitted diseases, right? <laughs> no response. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is a yes. I'll see you later. Oh, hello, hello, my patron. <laughs> Okay. My patron wants me to do this. Well, now Merida notices <laughs> I'm moving on. Fuck Fucking all y'all. Awesome. <laughs> I give Fucking Nick awesome. an inspiration point for that. I did not see that, that, that coming. That deserves <laughs> an inspiration point. I got a message that says kindly go fuck yourself. <laughs> So Merida notices that all the chains have fallen from the big top. 
it's hey guys open like all the chains are falling like the whole thing's gonna fall down no 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 you can now enter the front door they are actually an h8 which is in the lower right hand corner so they could you can probably see each other so if they want to approach the entrance to the big top hey guys uh, apparently this one's now open, and I walk in. Didn't he just like, follow the sound of our of, of our voices? <laughs> yep. yep. Doing it, walking in. Oh, hey, before I straight there. walk in, I walk around the back of it, and I peek in one of the back tent holes. There is no back. The only way in was that front that was locked by I chains. Was this... oh, okay, then I'm going to peek sure. in. I'm going to... I'm gonna pick Zenny up and put her on my shoulder like a master blaster. In and... <laughs> <laughs> she can hear and talk. She just can't see. Oh, come on, dumb truck! I wanted to see her walk into walls. <laughs> I'm gonna peek in. Wait, can I backtrack this whole thing up? Yeah. What, what do nope, you wanna do? Nope, it's cannon. Oh, uh, okay. Everything's cannon now. All right, no. then I'm peeking in anyway. So as you peek in, you see the inside of the big top is lined with tiered bleachers. At its center is an oval pit with three pedestals close to the far side. Atop each of the pedestals stands a scarecrow. Do I recognize any of those Later. scarecrows as the one, that's one I hugged? I'm out. Bye. <laughs> Not the one you hugged. All right. I run up there, there and I lean down and I'm like, your little friend outside greeted us and I give him a big old hug and I just like, end on one knee. And she eats her face, Which man. Which scarecrow do before. you hug? The middle one is No, a... I'm, not, I'm not hugging any of them. I run in and said, I hugged your friend who allowed us to come in. And I bend down on one knee and look at all three of them. I'm like, this has been so much fun. The center Let's scarecrow is has a ringleader coat and a top hat. It holds a cane in one hand and is pointing at the entrance with its other one. On the other two pedestals, there are scarecrows that resemble clowns in their attire and face paint, but they each hold curved nope. swords. Nope. Mm -hmm. Not going there. Mm -mm. They don't no, respond no. to Merida. Okay, I wait and see what happens. Where's Just... everyone else? Not in there. I'm going to go to the clown. I'm I'm standing in the doorway. Okay. Waiting. So dump truck carried Zenny in. Durek, where are you at? I'm going in as well. Okay. As soon as everyone is through the front door of this big top, you hear a disembodied voice that echoes. Come one, come all. Perform your best show before ringleader Haystack. If you impress them, you might just leave with your lives. Disappoint them and you'll pay the consequences. Feats of strength, feats of agility, feats of the mind. All skills are welcome at the Haystack Big Top. Step before ringleader Haystack. Declare your special talent and put on your best performance. Um, I can do acrobatics, apparently. I've never done can, that since college. I, I, I had to juggle my way through. It was, it, was, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was it was unfortunate. Unfortunately, with my necrotic transmitted disease, I no longer have my greatest <laughs> talent. Nothing. I have athletics. I can do cartwheels Ooh. and flips around you. Let's juggle the the midget. You are getting no response to anything. They're just it, it appears that this ringleader scarecrow is is staring at you. It's got a painted on face, however, you can just feel that it's it's waiting. It's waiting for something. I'm staring at I me. I give the ringleader oh. scarecrow a hug and then I back oh my up God. and sit back down. Nothing changes. Does no one remember Alice Cooper getting his leg bit off by a pig? <laughs> <laughs> you hear echoing once again. 
Declare your special talent and put on your best performance. Silence. Um. I start doing Chippendales. I'm gonna. <laughs> I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna start. Um. Um. Doing some pull out. Um, I have good dexterity, and I have good dexterity. I'm going to pull out um, a couple of balls and start juggling. Ha ha! That's funny, because okay. when you pull those out, I, I pick like you up Saturn. and I start throwing you around, and you start doing all three of them. <laughs> so, Zenny, I need a dexterity check at disadvantage, because you're blind. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I have a dexterity uh -oh. of five. So you're going to roll your d20 twice, and you take okay. the smaller number plus five. Okay, so I'm going to roll it twice. Okay, so... Wait, do I roll a d20 by itself? Yep, roll a d20. You're going to basically roll two d20s and take the smaller number. Okay. And then add your five. Okay, I... I have a 20 or a 14, so I have a 14 plus 5 is 19. Jesus. So even though you're blind, you were juggling at... It doesn't even look like you're impaired whatsoever. The rest of the party... Well, muscle memory. ...notices when they look back at the ringleader, his smile has grown just a tad. He looks creepy. <laughs> And you hear, declare like your him. special talent and put on your best performance once again. All right. Is there anything in here? I would like to do a somersault. To answer Dump Truck, there is empty bleachers in here and the three scarecrows on pedestals. It's just your basic empty big top. And I'm yeah. sorry, Merida, you want to do cartwheels? No. Somersault. Somersault. <laughs> yes. Okay. First of all, I want you to step in front of the ringleader and talk up your somersaults. Hello, ringleader. I am a simple person that can do simple things. Got that things. right. <laughs> Got that right. And I would like to impress you with doing a somersault ring around all three of you. Non-stop. <laughs> Give me a acrobatics. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. Were you... 17! You start just doing these somersaults non-stop all the way around all three pedestals. And as soon as you round all of them and stop and look at the ringleader, his smile has come up just a little bit more. And you hear once again, declare your special talent and put on your best performance. Next. I am going to dance. The dance of my people. Oh, no. All right, Snowball, is that your entrance? Yes. My entrance. Give me performance. No, that was not my performance. That's a five. A ten. <laughs> I really don't like these dice anymore. You hear ethereal booze. And as you look back to the the ringleader, his smile has has fallen a bit. Oh, you don't like my little introduction. I don't why, know why. Why are you I taking us talking. down here? We're doing all right. And I, <laughs> you shut up, you little human. Once again, I'm going to do my. You hear, declare your special talent and put on your best performance. Your chances are almost out. Who's a strong man? Has anyone done strong man yet? No, no strong man. No strength yet. I can throw 
Yeah, but you you gave up your chance. Yeah, do we all have one chance? I can throw the dwarf. Dwarf tossing. Who's the dwarf? For the sake of stream time, I will admit to you, we cannot repeat the same checks. The same people can go, but not the same types of checks. So far, we've had dexterity, um, acrobatics, and performance. I'm going to use wisdom. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. You're just purposely oh, taking us. <laughs> All right. Horrible. So, welcome, my 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 wooden friends. To I'm going to make something that's going to make your eyes pop out of your head. And he pulls out two pieces of sticks. And he starts rubbing them together, and he starts fire right in front of their faces. <laughs> Come on, Scarecrow. You know you love fire. I don't I know if wisdom works, but give me a them. wisdom throw. Fuck it. <laughs> Oh come on! Wait, who's it's a drunk? Wisdom. It's survival. Who's the drunk? Is there any? Is there any in the flask you could like poof up and like blow flames? It's a survival check to make fire, so okay. it's a fifteen. The frown fades, or I mean, the smile fades into a frown. I'm sorry, and you that's, hear that's you right, hear the ethereal Let's voice that bastards. says. You have one more chance to declare your special talent and put on your best performance or leave I your lives here now. in the big top. I made fire. Throw Sweet. that dwarf. <laughs> Throw him. D Durham, do you have <laughs> anything? Who's <laughs> <Just> throwing <laughs> the dwarf? I am. <laughs> Fuck it. Okay, I want you not? first to announce to the ringleader, Haystack, what you're going to do, and then give me the strength roll. Haystack, I am now going to throw my friend Derek in a little game I like call to call past the dwarf. <laughs> I never agreed to this. <laughs> Well, you always do. You, 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 you always want ill. Deal. I hate when this happens. <laughs> That's what he's saying. <laughs> All right, here goes my one plus one to string. Derek, are you going to allow this to happen? You don't got a choice. Or do you Shut have up, other Derek. options, like anything that you can bring to the table here? Also, did anyone remember their boons they achieved from the festival? No, yeah, I got it. Oh, oh shit. Constitution. Oh, look at that. Okay, here we go. We're going <laughs> to toss that dwarf. Eighteen to throw, my friend Derek. So this Where are you throwing me to? <laughs> Buddy, <laughs> At the scarecrow runs up At the scarecrow. <laughs> and grabs Derek. Out out. <laughs> you grab Derek it's by the the back of the neck and by you know like the his shirt down by his ass, and you spin like a javelin and just whoosh or a shot put and throw him. And all of a sudden, as you complete this third successful performance, you hear ethereal applause. It erupts from the bleachers. Ringleader Haystack has a smile on his burlap face, and you hear calliope music start to fade in from the direction of the Big Top's entrance. I look towards the I entrance. Win. Are you guys going through the entrance? I'm out of here. here. I'm yeah. out of this bitch. Yep. As you step through God, the big top door, ale. you find yourself standing next to the dead willow tree at the town square in Eve. There's no trace of the big top that you can see, and, and any blind or poisoned effects you had are gone. You actually see the mayor run up to you. Eric, I owe you a keg. I'll get you one. Uh, you owe me there are more than a keg. <laughs> no, that that's plenty for you. What do you mean? 
You're lucky I didn't have a bullet. Well, I saw you there. Than just a keg. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 know you enjoyed it. You enjoyed every minute of me tossing you at that thing. That's a lie. He did not. You could have given me a little bit more warning so I could have had my jab on out so that way I could have speared I knew, something. I knew you wouldn't go along with it, so I couldn't give you any warning. Sorry. So the mayor <laughs> runs true. up and misses this conversation and he greets you. You've returned, and I know you've been successful. I can feel it in my bones. The darkness is gone. He giggles with pure delight. Please, please, won't you stay and enjoy the festivities? I'm going to spend the rest of the evening collecting all of your rewards. I'll get you five kegs. All of our rewards? What are all of our rewards? Matt, and I, I'm going to need some. I, I, I'm gonna, I, I need to, a couple turkey legs, too. <laughs> Apparently, he's going to take all of our chicken. rewards. Enjoy the festival. Yeah, we need to. We need to go after him. <laughs> I don't want you to take all the rewards. I'm going to have to collect rewards. everything. We have turkey legs over here. We have ale over here, and you can eat and drink to your heart's content. I don't Just eat a fairy cow. Right this is stupid. Of them. No fairy eating. No one don't cold don't hard cash. Here. I'm doing a perception roll to see what would be in sight. Yeah. yeah. Roll insight. an insight. Roll an insight. I only got an 11. Oh, that, 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 that. You can't tell much. I'll do it too. You see I'll him at face too. value. That's a crit. Natural 20. So with a crit, you know he is not lying. He is genuine. He sincerely wants you to enjoy the festival. <laughs> And he is going to collect your rewards. Okay, we've been burned before. I just had to make sure. <laughs> um, I would like to look around and see if there's. I'm there just, uh, I'm just set up anywhere. in between the, the 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 ale station and the turkey leg station. I got a turkey leg in one hand. I got a tankard in the other. I'm just. Arr, 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 arr. I I, I'm sorry, I Merida. That's what the did the new you want version to look of the for? fastball special. I want to look around and see if there are any scarecrows anywhere. You see no scarecrows. You only see the jovial creatures you saw before. There's hags drinking. There's werewolves running around playing soccer. <laughs> There's oh my God. just people having fun. As werewolves often do. You know, this is a festival. They're having fun. I and during the for creatures our that are working special. the festival are happily serving you. They are patting <laughs> you on the back. You're their best friend right now. They're like, eat and drink on us. See, everybody loves ADL flowing or... and the turkey legs coming. <laughs> you do feel that the air, even though it was light when you arrived, it is so much lighter now. So, the, so what happens if you go to play a game like a book of whatever Eldritch or... You can play whatever you want. Um, I'll be honest with you, there's no boons because the adventure's over. So I am going yes. to be like, boom! Black. You all see black. <laughs> I'm going to bed. I'm going you, to the end. Awesome. You find yourselves waking up in the dirt during the early morning sunrise. You have no recollection of laying your head here for the night. As you look around, you notice the town of Eve is no longer present. All that surrounds you is an empty field. No creatures, no buildings, no street, nothing. All you can see is a long dead willow tree silhouetted against the morning sky. At the base of the tree sits a sack with a note that looked very aged. It looks so old. It simply says, thank you. Inside the sack... Would you say... What? It's a haunted log. It's a haunted willow tree log. Inside the sack is 500 gold pieces each. So if you want to add that to your character sheet and we do play another game with these characters, that's what you have. As you begin Hells, yeah, the long my, walk home, my new armor. you wonder if anyone will ever believe the story of how you helped a mysterious town of monsters defeat an ancient evil. The end. Do I still have the flask? Do you still have what? <laughs> Do I still have the flask? 
you that was given to me. Dude, you have that flask. It's empty as shit. Or is it empty? Did you drink it all? I thought I did. Of course okay. you drank it all. It looks even Brick, older than when the mayor handed it to you. It is kind of <laughs> shriveled a little bit. And anything inside actually smells putrid. It's like it aged overnight. That's what she said. <laughs> oh. oh! My old dried up we flask gotta end is it there. putrid. There's our low hanging fruit for the night, Nikki. <laughs> I had to do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love We're it. End it there. So um, I need I, nail. I think the only viewers we had are people that follow us, which is totally fine. We love you. Uh, anybody who watches this back. Thank you for watching it back. Please follow. So when we go live, you'll see us. Once again, it's a lot of Fortnite, a lot of tabletop RPG. That being said, happy Halloween. I'm your GM, Shannon. Nick. Nikki. <laughs> Allison. Kirk. Jason. Kirk. Jason. Bye. Jason. Bye. Bye. Good night. Happy Halloween. Bye.